hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel please do help to subscribe also turn on the notification bell in order to get notified whenever upload a new video thank you so much god bless you guys in this video today we are going to talk about two basic trending issues on social media first we are going to talk about how nigerian celebrities reacted to a nigerian lady who passed on as a result of bbl surgery also, we are going to take a look at an update video from graduation ceremony of Canadian universities where all nine masters of law graduates are Nigerians. My correct people, our video this morning consists of bad news and good news. It is advisable to start with the good news, so let us visit the Canadian university where nine law master graduates are all Nigerians. Guys, before we take a look at the reactions, let us watch the video. Oh my God, I can just say wow. A very big congratulations to these Nigerians whose academic excellence have added value to our country. Guys, let us hear from our social media in-laws and judges what they are saying about this particular story. The first writer said, before you congratulate them, don't forget these are mostly children of our politicians. Thank you. While the second writer said, Nigerians are doing better everywhere else unless Nigeria. The third writer said, wait first, no be Rocha Sokoro shall be that. While the fourth writer said, after they go see Nigerians no sabi anything. The fifth writer said, them no go comment or like cause no be nyach them check. I do find this applaudable and the Nigerian government should acknowledge, congratulate, celebrate and employ this success. Indeed, they have made Nigerian proud and Africa great. Wow, I love this with love emoji. This writer said, this is heartwarming to watch. While the other writer has said, you people should vote for Buhari taught them so more will graduate. And this writer said, as you know for allow them graduate here now. This writer said, now government be our problems, God bless them with love emoji. While the other writer has said, outside the country, Nigerians are more than capable and diligent. Just that our augurs at the top keep suppressing our zeal. Congratulations to them. We also have a writer here who says, such news I want to be seen. Not be who buy liability. Let's propagate positivity. My correct people, let us say a very big congratulations to these people who they have done wonderfully well. In fact, they have made this country proud and Africa great. Africa as a whole, we should be proud of these people. It is not easy. In someone's land, some other person's country, look at what they have displayed. That is to tell you that Nigerians are intelligent. That is to tell you that there's something special about Nigerians, except that our government does not want to acknowledge that. So we have everything it takes to congratulate these people because if we look inward, in fact, leadership shouldn't be our problem. We are capable of managing our resources. We are capable of having good leaders. We are capable of having people who can plan for this economy, people who can make things work in this country. But guys, moving away from this, do not forget the fact that in news, there are certain news that will make you smile and there are certain news that will make you frank your face. We have good news and we have bad news also. So moving away from good news, let us see what's happened to a Nigerian who passed away as a result of BBL surgery. This is a beautiful lady who out of foolishness, out of stupidity went to do surgery. 
Imagine that. Take a look at this lady. Is she not beautiful enough? What are you going to add to your body again? Is this shape not okay? Please, I guess there are men in this platform. We have men here who at least can take judgment. We know what we like. We know what we want. Take a look at this girl. Does she not have all the sellable points? Why going to do certain things again that will ruin your life? Look at it now. She has gone because you want to add beauty to the natural beauty that was given to her by God. Why are some ladies not contented with what they have? Why are some ladies so greedy? I am saying some. I know it is not all, but some are so greedy. They are not contented with what they have. What is it? What do you want to add to what you already have and take it to where? Are you taking it to heaven? I don't understand why devil is using some ladies like this. Okay guys, let me bring the news to you as Linda Ekeji dropped it this morning. According to Linda Ekeji blog official, a friend has taken to Twitter to call out a plastic surgery clinic following a botched surgery that allegedly led to the demise of a Nigerian woman. A young lady named Christabel allegedly by at the hospital in Lagos few days ago. Her friend claimed on Twitter that before Christabel spy, she complained to the clinic that she did her surgery that she was experiencing bleeding. The friend claimed the clinic told Christabel it was normal post-surgery and the bleeding will stop. Sadly, it proved fatal. She said when friends didn't hear from Christabel for days, they searched at the hospital where she went for the surgery and the hospital allegedly gave them a letter showing that her body has been deposited at the mock. The friend said the hospital didn't think it wise to contact any of Christabel's relatives to let them know until they went to the hospital. The friend has called out the authorities to investigate the hospital and ensure that Christabel gets justice. So sad and so disappointing. Though some people are doing it and they are getting it right, they are doing it and they are succeeding with it, but sometimes you don't need to follow people. Do what is good for you. With this kind of shape, what are you looking for again? Some people go there because maybe their shape has one or two problems. Why are you going there? In fact, is there even need to go there? It doesn't want it now. Live with what God has given to you. So guys, this has caused a lot of reactions. So many celebrities have reacted to this as I'm going to take you through some celebrities who have reacted to this particular act. Let us start from one of the Instagram user, Justin Silverdam. Well, I've been like Jingle Bello. Honestly speaking, I'm still wondering like why did she went for this um, surgery, this plastic surgery, this liposuction? Because she's looking good. I'm sure you must have heard about the story of um, Pataka Big Girl, um, Christabel days after a liposuction i went to this lady's page on instagram and then um, i was really surprised because she's beautiful she's pretty she has good body so what is she looking for again i don't get it this is the hospital she did the surgery didn't badly but the hospital didn't even take care of her and then when she didn't even inform her family now the hospital have deleted their instagram page all the way from Potaco to Lagos to come and do surgery. Please, everyone, please don't let social media pressure your big. Even all the Indians that are doing said they all look like um, SpongeBob. It's not even fine. Eh? So, guys, that is a word from Tosin Silver Dam. I believe what he said. There's no point disturbing yourself. What's the need for all those things? Be what you are. Stop stressing your life. Let us also hear from Anita Joseph, as she said, just so you know. Big Bomb Bomb cannot keep a man. Pishikun, be you just the way you are. After all, ladies with small Bomb Bomb are still winning the last time I checked. Shalom.